We have about one more minute to go before we get started. Thanks again for joining. I ask that we use this last minute to gather any supplies we feel we may need for our session here today. The only thing I know that we're going to need and we might need is a yoga strap. So if you have a yoga strap, feel free to grab one. Now this is just an option. Okay, great, okay. So that, but this is an option. Um, we are gonna do some, some techniques with the strap, but you don't need the strap. Okay, if it is seven o'clock on the dot, and I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. I invite you to find any easy seat that feels good for you. <sighs> Using the seated pose to help ground and root our bodies here today, ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning they are not sunken. We have a nice strong spinal cord with our shoulders melted downward away from our ears as we gaze our eyes down. Breathe in, hold the breath, exhale fully. Allowing the breath to relax and soothe the mind and body. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Noticing how the breath relaxes and soothes the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for you. With our eyes gazed down, may we relax for four breaths of silent meditation. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our seated salute, palms, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens. Our shoulders reaches up towards our ears, feeling this nice deep stretch here. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. As we breathe our palms together, maybe interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing, allowing our arms to flow towards the back. This is a slight back bend here. Chin is up as we hold this pose for two breaths. Exhale to center. Relaxing our palms down to the sides of our bodies. Our fingertips are connected to the earth. As we are using our palms to help connect us with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us without judgment. Simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may become distracted. May we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two breaths. Breathe our palms above our heads in our salute. Fingertips reaching up towards the heavens. Breathe in. Exhale to prayer. Relax in our palms down their heart center. As we breathe our palms back up to our salute, exhale into our star. Our palms are slightly off towards the side. Yes. As we twist our bodies towards the right, allowing our palms to come down towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder, we are in our seated twist. We are relaxing and soothing our spinal cords here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into our star. Twisting our bodies towards the left, 
allowing our palms to come down towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder, seated twist, opposite sides. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming to that star. As we breathe to our salute, exhale to our prayer, relax in the body. As we straighten our legs out in front of us, we're gonna find our bodies in our staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Our backs, our spinal cords are nice and long. Our heart chakra is open. As we breathe our palms up to our salute, exhale to our prayer. As we slightly hinge at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold, allowing our torso to relax downward towards our thighs. Maybe we can reach down to our feet if we are, if we are able, feeling that complete body stretch here. Exhale into half forward fold as we flow back up to our staff pose. With our toes pointed up towards the heavens, we are in our Dorsey flex pose with our toes pointing up towards the heavens. Can everybody see my feet? Let me, let me bring the thing down. I just wanna make sure you guys can see the feet clearly. Okay, so with our toes pointed up towards the heavens, final cords nice and long here, we are in our Dorsey flex. As we point our toes downward towards the earth, now we are in our plantar flex. So we have our toes pointed downward towards the earth, still in that stretch, plantar flex, as we slightly hinge at the hips, connecting our hands to our knees, keeping our toes pointed downward. Maybe reaching down to our feet if we are able. Filling that full body stretch with our toes planted downward. Keeping in mind, keeping in mind that our class here today is focused on flat feet. So we're gonna be doing a lot of poses with our feet, plantar flexing our feet, kind of like playing around with ballerina feet. With our eyes gaze down to close, we are in our seated forward fold. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Allowing the torso to melt downward towards the thighs. Two more breaths. Exhale into our half forward fold. Dorsey flexing our toes, meaning pointing our toes upward towards the heavens. We are in our half forward fold. Toes are pointed upwards as we are reaching down, hands to feet if we're able, or hands to ankles. As we breathe back up to our staff pose, our backs are nice and long, hanging out here for a couple seconds. It all feels well. We are going to flow onto our backs, laying on, coming into a recline position, allowing our torso to melt into the yoga mat. As we extend our legs up in the air, we are in our legs on the wall pose or invisible wall, maybe in our cases. As we point our toes downward towards our bodies, we're going to come into a dorsiflex, pointing the toes towards our bodies, yes. As we plant to flex, pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens, filling that plant to flex. Yes. Pointing them back towards our bodies. We're dorsi, flexing our toes as we plant to flex, lifting them up towards the heavens. Notice how that feels. Relaxing the body, relaxing the head on the yoga mat. With feeling that stretch, two breaths. Exhale into our dorsi toes. As we reach our hands down to the lower parts of our thighs, our legs, we're gonna bring our legs towards our torso, feeling that leg to body stretch. Two breaths. Exhaling the legs back up to the air. As we bring our knees inward, we're gonna flow into a happy baby, bringing our hands between our thighs, connecting our hands to our feet, torsos, our backs is relaxed into the mat. We are in our happy baby. Maybe we have our hands connected to our feet. As we take a moment, if our hands are connected to our feet and maybe massage our feet here. Using this moment to show our feet a little love. 
And if we choose, maybe we can go and do a couple of circular rotations here with our feet at our ankles. Simply just rotating the ankles. We are showing our feet some love here. Going as slow or as fast as we choose. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, connecting our hands to our feet, we are in our happy baby. And we're gonna hang out here in our happy baby, relaxing and soothing for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, bringing our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose. As we reach down, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that full body stretch. Exhaling back to legs on the wall, relaxing the body as we plant to flex our toes downward. Feeling that stretch as we dorsiflex flex our toes towards our bodies. Flowing back to plantar flex. Feeling this stretch here. We're going to hold this plantar flex for four breaths. What we are doing in our plantar flex is we are working on that flat foot. We are building that arch underneath our foot here. Two more breaths. Exhale into Dorsey. As we grab our strap, if we need it, we're going to allow our left leg to relax downward towards the earth. Bending our knee towards our torso. We're going to take this strap, if we have one, we're going to bring that strap underneath our foot. Bring our leg up in the air. Yes. Now, we don't, we don't need the strap. If you don't have a strap, we're just going to bring that one leg up in the air and just hold our leg up with our hand. But if we have a strap, we can use the strap. With our torso relaxed onto the mat, we are gazed up at the heavens. We're simply going to sit here for a couple breaths, just noticing how this feels here in our body. As we reach down and bring our leg towards our torso, feeling that stretch. This is also a stretch. If we don't have a strap, we can just use our hands to bring our leg towards our torso. Feeling that stretch here. Yes. Extending that leg back up in the air. That one leg is in the air. As we plan to flex our toes, planting our, our toes upwards, feeling that flex there. So pointing the toes upwards towards the heavens. Yes. Dorsering them down towards the body. We're dorsiflexing towards the body. Plantar flexing up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. With or without the strap, three more breaths. Two breaths. Bringing that thigh towards, bringing that leg towards your torso, feeling that stretch. Exhaling back up to center, we're going to bring both legs up inside of the strap or both legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Just for a second, as we take that right leg out of that strap and bring that right leg flat down towards the earth, now on our left leg is in the air. We are feeling this stretch here. Torsos relaxed, bodies relaxed, as we use the strap to bring our leg towards our torso, or we can use our hands to bring our leg towards our torso. Feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Exhaling back up to center as we planter our toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch there. Yes, plantering that toe. We are creating that arch. We are creating that arch in our foot. Exhale into our dorsi. Our toes come towards our bodies now. Feeling the rotations here. Dorsi. Exhale into planter. Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that arch in the foot. Keeping in mind that we are working on flat foot here. We are building an arch in our feet. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, bringing that leg towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling that leg back up in the air. Bringing that right leg back up inside that strap, or we just have both legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose, reaching down, bringing our legs towards our torsos, feeling that full body stretch, two breaths. 
Exhale, we're going to bring our knees to our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. We are taking this time to give ourselves a little hug, showing self-care and gratitude to ourselves. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the knees to fall towards the left, we're going to flow into a reclined spinal twist, relaxing and soothing the spinal cord here. Knees are off towards the left as our right arm comes off towards the side. As we gaze over that right, that right shoulder, feeling this stretch here in our spinal cord. We can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, allowing our shoulder blades to melt backwards into the earth. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in, two breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Allowing our knees to fall towards the right. Left arm goes out to the side like a T as we gaze over that left arm. We are relaxing and soothing our spinal cord here. With our shoulder blades melting into the earth and our eyes gaze down or closed. We're gonna hang out here in this spinal twist for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in, extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. As we planter our toes, we're going to do that planter flex, feeling that flex here, nice and deep, feeling that flex. Exhale to our door seat, bringing those toes towards our bodies, yes. Exhale back, exhale back to planter, feeling the rotations. Breathing back to Dorsey. Exhale the planter. Making our abdominal muscles nice and tight here. Bringing our legs in, slightly crossing our feet at our ankles. We're going to come up to a boat pose. Feeling that abdominal crunch as we come into that boat pose here. Yes. And we can keep our feet crossed at our ankles in our boat. Or we can, we can straighten those legs out side by side here. With our arms, our palms parallel with our legs. We are working our abdominals. We are working our obliques. Now, in our boat pose, if our backs are sunken, we may fall over. So keep in mind to keep that back nice and strong. Having control of that back will keep us up. We are in our boat pose, building strength here. We are gaze forward, tummies nice and tight, four breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause here. We're going to hold this boat pose for a couple breaths as we cross our feet at our ankles. Tummies are nice and tight. We are building strength. Now, crossing our feet at our ankles is just an option. We can hang out in a boat pose if we choose. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, flowing back into that boat pose. We're going to bring our knees inward. We're going to take our hands, connecting our hands to our feet. Yes, backs are nice and strong. Both of our feet are in our hands. Maybe we can play with our feet for a second, moving the feet left and right, up and down. We are having fun here today. We're taking our time here. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna take that left leg, extend it out towards the left. We are working on our boat pose variation here. We are also working on stretching the hamstrings behind our thighs. <sighs> and if you wanna point your feet in that, in that planter flex, Feel free to do so. We can point both foot downward here in our, in our plantar flex. We're kind of looking like a ballerina here. So we have our right toes pointed downward towards the earth. We have that toe that's up in the air pointed downward towards the earth. We are flexing and we are posing in this boat pose variation. We're going to hold this for four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. 
Exhaling that foot back in. Both of our feet are still in our hands. Backs are nice and straight as we extend that right leg out towards the side. Feeling that stretch behind our legs and our hamstring here. We are doing our boat pose variation on the opposite side. Keeping in mind that we can plant to flex that leg that's in the air, plant on that foot. We can also plant to that opposite foot. Feeling like we are posing here, like we are doing ballerina poses. We are working on our flat foot. So throughout this session, we're gonna keep our foot as arched as much as we can. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling that foot in. Both of our feet are in our hands as we bound our feet together, connecting our feet together, coming down to that diamond or that butterfly, positioning our bodies to feel nice and comfortable here. Our spinal cords are still nice and long. Our feet are connecting. We are taking this moment to go inward, connecting our hands to our feet or our ankles here. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes as we are going inward and manifesting here. Reshaping our feet, reshaping our foot, reshaping, simply just picturing their arch being created in our foot. With both of our feet connected, may we flow into our butterfly. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. Now, if this, is a, if this hip opener is too deep, we can flow into that diamond by bringing our feet slightly away from our bodies. So the diamond and the butterfly looks very similar, but the diamond is more of a deeper, is more of a deeper hip opener here. So whatever feels best for you, may we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes and slightly hinge at the hips, bringing our torso, our heart chakra towards our feet, towards the earth. Only going down as much as the body allows you to comfortably go down. Heart chakras connected to the foot. Eyes are gazed down or closed. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. May we relax here in this hinge position for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. With our palms still connected to our feet, we're gonna work on a couple of seated cat cows here. Lifting our heart chakra up. Uh, while our heart chakra is open, our chin is slightly up. Maybe allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our cow pose. We're gonna hang out here for two breaths. Exhale into cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Cat pose, two breaths. Flowing back to our cow. Two breaths. Noticing how this is a slight back bend. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to our diamond or our butterfly. Just for a second, as we use our hands to bring our, our legs inward. And we're gonna cross our feet at our ankles and we're gonna flow onto a tabletop position. Coming onto our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Our elbows are straight as we are in our table position. Tummies are nice and tight. As we drop down to our cow, our tummies come closer to the earth. Noticing how our backs are sunken down. Our chin is slightly up. We are in our cow pose. Noticing how this feels in our lumbar spine, our lower back. Two breaths. Exhale into cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord goes up to the heavens. Blowing back to our cow. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. As we find our pose, 
We're going to take our right arm and breathe that right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. Right arm reaches up towards the heavens. Yes. As we gaze up at those right fingers, feeling that stretch as we breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle right on threads through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Eyes are closed or gaze down. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Thread the needle. Five natural breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. Knees are hip distance apart. Our elbows are nice and straight here. Tummies nice and tight. As we take that left arm, reach it up towards the heavens, gazing up at our left fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the arm, thread the needle. Left arm threads through the right. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Eyes are gazed down to close. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the torso to melt forward into the yoga mat. Our bodies are completely relaxed here. And if we choose, we can take that, that right one and wrap it around our bags. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Whatever you choose, thread the needle, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale into our cat, flowing back to our table. As we breathe our right leg outward towards the back, we are working on our sunbird pose here. So our right leg is out towards the back. Tummies are nice and tight. And if we have any issues with our balance, we can always lower the right toes downward towards the earth before we bring that left arm forward, finding our bodies in that full sunbird. So we have our left arm forward, our right leg is to the back. Lowering our toes downward to the earth for balance if needed. Tummy's nice and tight. We are building strength and we are balancing here in our sunburn. Four natural breaths. Maybe we can point our toes outwards away from us. Pointing our toes upwards here. Working on that arch in our foot. So instead of just having our feet, our toes downward, pointing our feet towards the back of the room. Yes. Feeling that stretch here. We're going to continue to work on our flat foot. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Pointing that toe towards the back of the earth, towards the back of the room here. Yes, feeling that flex. Exhale back to table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to our table. As we sunbird opposite side. Bringing that left leg out towards the back, feeling that stretch. Gazing forward, tummy's nice and tight. Keeping in mind that we can lower our toes downward to the earth if we need for balance. 
flowing into that full sunburn, we're going to bring that right arm forward. Gazing forward, building balance, building strength. Four breaths. Keeping in mind that we can point our toes towards the opposite side of the room. Yes, feeling that stretch. So we are pointing our toes, going deeper into this stretch. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Hanging out here, two breaths, pointing those toes. Yes, feeling a stretch. Exhale back to table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can push our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left to right, tummies are nice and tight here. In our down dog, we are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies. As we find our pause, we're gonna flow into a three-legged right side, lifting that right leg up in the air, gazing back at that foot. As we point those right toes upwards towards the heavens, yes. Working on that dorsi, working on that plantar flex. Pointing those toes up, three breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Feeling that crunch? Back to three-legged. Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, please. Yes. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. As we drop to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Just giving our arms a little rest here. Allowing our torso to come downward towards the earth. Allowing our third eye chakra, our forehead, to relax onto the yoga mat, onto the earth. So with our heart chakra connected to the earth, our third eye chakra, our forehead, connected to the earth. May we take this time to soothe, relax, and go inward. May we focus here for five natural breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us if they were not already, finding our bodies in an extended child's pose or puppy pose. With our palms flat on the earth, may we use our palms to push our torsos forward. We're going to do a couple of spinal waves and using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. So we are spinal waving our bodies here. You will feel this pose throughout your entire spinal cord. And if we was to, if we was to move our neck and wave our necks as well, we'll have a full spinal cord flex here. So simply getting lost in this pose, having some fun, going as fast or as slow as you choose. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, coming back to our table. Pushing our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet. 
Biting our paws as we three-legged dog, opposite side, left leg comes in the air nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. As we point our left toes upwards towards the heavens, working on our plantar flex here. <sighs> Full body stretch here. Three more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Hanging out here, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Exhale, down dog. As we flow onto our forearms, coming into our dolphin pose. We are gazing back at our feet with our buttocks high in the air. Maybe we can walk our feet closer towards our torsos, noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we push our bodies back up to our down dog, tummies nice and tight. As we walk our feet forward towards our hands, finding our bodies in a complete forward fold. Our torso is relaxing over our thighs. As we breathe in, exhale. Maybe taking a moment to notice how this complete forward fold is a relaxing pose. With our eyes gaze down to close, we're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale into a half forward fold. Breathe back down to a complete forward fold. And maybe we can yogi walk our feet slightly apart if we choose as we flow into a rag dial. Using our hands to connect to our elbows as our head completely relaxes over. And maybe in our rag dial we can sway our bodies, rocking our body from side to side. You may notice that you feel that, that you'll feel it more behind your legs and your hamstrings when we rock. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, coming back to that complete forward fold. Exhale, half forward fold. Yogi we'll walking our feet back together as we breathe up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Our palms are at our side. <sighs> Maybe we can yogi walk our feet or just pedal our feet from side to side. Just taking a moment to just work on our hips. <sighs> yes, as we find our pause in our Tadasana, palms are at our side, heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up. We are in our Tadasana, standing, standing tall and strong. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, palms are together. <sighs> slightly coming up on our tippy toes. Yes, we are balancing our bodies here on our tippy toes. But we are also working on that flat foot. See that there? So we are building an arch here in our feet. We are on our tippy toes. Palms are above our heads with our palms together. We're gonna hang out here for four natural breaths. Coming out whenever you need to. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling down on our feet. We are still in our mountain pose. And I stand and salute, I'm sorry, as we separate our hands coming into our extended mountain, yes. So taking a moment to notice that when we are in our standing salute, our palms are together. And when we are in our extended mountain, our palms are separated. So that's the difference between the two poses. 
in our extended mountain, may we come back up on our tippy toes here. Yes. We are once again working the bottoms of our feet. We are working on our flat foot here. And if you want to do, if we have the balance, if you want to do some pauses on your tippy toes, feel free to do so. If you choose. Three more breaths. We are building strength here. If you notice, you may feel the lower parts of your feet are starting to burn, especially if you're doing the pauses. But you know what they say, no pain, no gain. We can't change our body without a little bit of pain. Exhale down on our feet. Yes, relax in the foot. As we breathe our bodies towards the right, coming into a standing crescent moon. Yes, working on our side bend here. Relax in the body as we slightly gaze up at the heavens. Opening up their heart chakra, three breaths. Exhaling back to center. Standing crescent moon, opposite side. Filling that C-spine here. Two more breaths. Gazing up at the heavens. Opening up their heart chakra. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our palms to our salute. Exhale to prayer. Relaxing our palms at heart center. Ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Relaxing the body. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes if we're able. As we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we are using this standing prayer to relax, soothe, and go inward. Noticing how we feel at this very moment. Simply being aware, checking in with self without judgment. May we stand here in our standing prayer for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Slightly hinging at the hips, keeping our palms at heart center. We are in our half forward fold with our prayer hands. And we may feel this behind our legs and our hamstrings here. Two more breaths. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose, we are working the lower parts of our bodies. We can stay in prayer hands if we choose, or we can extend those palms above our heads here in our chair pose. We are building strength. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms at heart center, Chair pose, twist, right side. Twisting the body, gazing at the right fingers. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Chair pose, twist, opposite side. My apologies, my computer is frozen. Chair pose, twist, opposite side. Three breaths. Exhale back to center, two more breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, relax in the body. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the hands to reach down towards the earth. The body's completely relaxed here, now complete forward fold. As we exhale to our half forward fold, coming back up to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we widen our legs, coming into a wide legged Tadasana, breathe in, exhale, half forward fold, we are wide legged. As we flow to our complete forward fold, connecting our hands to the earth, now when our head to melt completely downward here, we are relaxing and soothing. Two breaths. 
As we come to that half forward fold, we have our hands connected to the earth, but now we have our fingertips connected to the earth. So we went from a flat hands to now our fingertips. Yes. So we are in our wide legged forward fold. Fingertips are connected to the earth, maybe with our feet slightly outward away from us. So feet are not straight. They are slightly outward. Yes. Fingertips connected to the earth as we bend our knees. Yes, bending those knees here. We are working on our spider pose here. So our knees are bent, fingertips are connected to the earth as we slightly come up on our tippy toes. See that there? So we went from a flat foot to now we're on our tippy toes. We are in our spider pose. And we can drop our bodies down a little bit more if we're able. If we're able, we can even cross our hands and come down in that spider on our tippy toes, if we're able. And you may be feeling a burn in your tippy toes already. Coming out whenever you need to, taking a break, and then flowing back into that spider. Once again, we are working on flat feet. We are building strength in our feet here. Four more breaths. Coming out whenever you need, and then flowing right on back into that spider, coming back onto your tippy toes. <sighs> Two more breaths. Keep in mind that we can drop that torso down if we choose. Let's take a break. Straighten out those legs. Yes. Coming into that half forward fold. Breathe down to a complete forward fold, allowing the body to relax. Maybe flowing into a wide legged rag dial here. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. <sighs> Exhale into a half forward fold. And we're gonna try that spider one more time if we're ready. But before we try it, maybe we can wiggle our toes a little bit here. Yes, just wiggle our toes, just trying to relax our toes. <sighs> maybe we can squeeze our toes if we're able. Whoop. Just giving our bodies a little break here as we come back down to that um, half forward fold, bending our knees, fingertips are on the earth as we flow back to that spider coming up on our tippy toes. Keeping in mind that we can drop our torsos down towards the earth if we choose, or we can stay up, whatever you choose. Spider pose, four more breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhaling out, straightening out those legs, finding our bodies back in that half forward fold. Breathe to complete forward fold. Going into a rag dial if that feels good for you. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Two more breaths. Flow into our half forward fold. We are in our wide legged half. Yes. And we're going to work on a cross body stretch here. We're going to take our left hand, connect our left hand to our right foot, feeling that cross body stretch. Yes. Now we're going to take our right hand and wrap it around our backs the way we do when I thread the needle. As we softly gaze over our right shoulder. This is a full body stretch. It is also a spinal twist. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close them as we hang out here, relaxing and soothing for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling our bodies back to center. We are in our half forward fold as we cross body stretch opposite side. Taking this right hand towards that left foot, feeling that cross body stretch. As we take this left hand and wrap it around our backs like we do when I thread the needle, as we softly gaze over that left shoulder. We are in our full body stretch. Also, we are spinal twisting our bodies here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. 
exhale and back to center. Flow into a complete forward fold. Exhale into half forward fold. We're almost done working the lower parts of our bodies here, but we gotta do that goddess pose. We're gonna come up, bring our bodies up. <sighs> Finding our bodies in our cactus hands and our goddess stance, our god or goddess poses here. Gods for men, goddess for females. Yes. And we are just we are just working on the lower parts of our bodies here. We are building strength. And if we choose, we can goddess pulse, pulsing our bodies up and down. Or we can goddess rock. God rock, rocking that body from side to side. Feeling a burn, three more breaths. Whatever you choose, pulsing it, rocking it, or staying still. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, straightening our legs, coming into a standing star. Palms are off towards the side. Legs are straightened. Heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up. Breathe in. Exhale. We are standing strong in our star. We are power. We are bright. We are light. We are strength. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back down to that God or Goddess stance here. We're going to hang out here. Four breaths. Pulsing it or rocking it or staying still. Whatever you choose. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. Blow into that complete forward fold. Straightening our legs. Connecting our hands to our ankles. Right hand to right ankle. Left hand to left ankle. Allowing that head to, make, to relax. Melt down. <sighs> Still in this full body stretch here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we walk our hands forward, we're going to bring our legs together, finding our bodies back in our down dog. Gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. As we find our pause, we're going to three-legged dog right side, bringing that right leg up in the air, pointing that toe when we're coming into that dorsiflex here, pointing that toe. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, we're going to come into a pigeon pose, bringing that foot forward, yes. So we have our right leg forward, our left leg is towards the back. We are in our pigeon pose. <sighs> Taking a moment to notice how this pigeon feels here. Framing that front foot as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center. And if we choose, we can flow on down to a sleeping pigeon, which is allowing our torso to come down towards our thigh. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. We are simply going to relax and soothe here in our sleeping pigeon for five natural breaths. <sighs> Three more breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleeping pigeon, using our hands to push our torsos away from that thigh. We are awakening. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, if that feels okay, maybe we can take our left hand and touch our left leg with our left hand, just simply touching it. Noticing how that feels as we are gazing over that left shoulder. If this feels well, maybe we can flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid by bringing that by bringing that foot inside of our hand. Yes, now we are massaging and working our foot here. We can also put that foot in that elbow. Both of these poses will work on that flat foot. We also can 
use our strap, wrapping the strap around the foot, which also works on that flat foot by using this strap to bring the foot, see that there, towards the body. So we are applying a little bit of pressure onto that foot, which is further working and helping with that flat foot. Yes. So this is our pigeon pose with our strap, allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades here in our pigeon. Or if we're in our mermaid, our bodies are slightly off towards the side and it looks like our foot is in our elbow. Either way, we are still using the strap to work our foot to try to get it from not being so flat. Yes, so we can hang out here in this pigeon or this mermaid for four more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> Relaxing the legs straight back out towards the back. Framing that front leg as we gaze over that right shoulder. Exhaling back to center, using our hands to push our bodies out of this pigeon, flowing back into that down dog, gazing at our feet, walking our dog by moving our legs left and right. As we find our pause, Three-legged dog, left side, bringing that left leg up in the air nice and high, gazing at that foot, pointing that left foot in that plantar flex. <sighs> Exhale, pigeon opposite side, bringing that left foot forward. Right leg goes out towards the back. We are in our pigeon opposite side. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhale back to center as we flow down to our sleeping pigeon, allowing the torso to relax downward towards the thigh, with our eyes gazed down or closed and our shoulders melted forward towards the earth. May we relax and soothe here for five natural breaths. Mm. Three more breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleeping pigeon, we're gonna use our palms to push our torsos away from the earth here. Yes. As we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, and if this feels well, maybe we can take that right hand and touch our right leg as we are still gazing over that right shoulder. And if this feels well, if all is well, maybe we can bring that foot up towards the hand, flowing into a um, king pigeon or a mermaid, connecting that foot to the hand or bringing that foot into the elbow. Or we can also, once again, use our strap to help us get into the position yeah, we are working on getting rid of that flat foot. So the straps is a beautiful thing. So in our straps, we have our hands over our heads with our heads melted between our shoulders. We are in our pigeon pose or in our mermaid, our bodies are slightly off towards the side here with the strap wrapped around the foot. And it looks like our foot is in our elbow mermaid okay so whatever feels good for you five breaths three more breaths <sighs> As we slowly straighten out that leg, we're gonna slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back forward as we breathe in. Exhale back to down dog, gazing at the feet. 
walking our dog by pedaling our feet. As we shift our bodies forward, flowing into that high plank, tummy's nice and tight. We can drop to our knees if we choose, or we can flow down to a low plank if that feels good. Two breaths. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Exhale to our cobra, straight, el straight elbows. Let's see, cobra, straight elbows, or our baby cobra when our elbows are slightly bent. So baby cobra or cobra, whatever you choose. Chin is slightly up. This here is a slight back bend. Three breaths. Cobra pose, straight elbows, baby cobra bent elbows. As we flow down to our Spanx pose, coming onto our forearms. Yes, the Spanx pose is also a slight back bend. <sighs> Ensuring that our shoulders are not up towards our ears. We wanna relax our shoulders away from our ears here. See that? Having control of the body, Sphinx pose. With our eyes, gaze down or closed. Sphinx pose is a slight back bend, but it's also a relaxing pose. So with our eyes closed, may we take this time to simply go inward and focus on self for three natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow down onto our tummies, we're gonna flow into a Superman, Supergirl here. Yes, so we are directly on our tummies. We have our arms, palms off the earth and our feet, our thighs are off the earth. We are in our Superman, Supergirl as we are gaze forward. And we can even play around and act like we're flying if we choose or we can stay still. Three breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose, flipping our palms upwards towards the heavens now, yes. And our feet are still off the earth. We are in our locust. This also is a slight back bend. As we are gazing forward, three breaths. Two more breaths. And we're gonna keep on flowing here. We're gonna flow into a half bow. Taking the right hand towards the right ankle. We're gonna bend that foot upward towards our hand, yes. So right hand, right ankle, we are in our half bow. And if this feels good, we can bring that left hand to that left ankle. Now we are in our full bow. Our torsos come further off the earth. This is a deeper back bend as we are gaze forward. <sighs> Four breaths. Two more breaths. Blowing out whenever you need to. Or we can do half bowls. <sighs> Exhaling down, relaxing the body, just relaxing the feet. Relaxing the arms at the side, relaxing down on our forehead as our shoulders melt forward. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. We are in our rest pose. Three breaths. Mm. Foreheads connected to the earth as we allow our shoulders to melt forward. Two more breaths. Mm. Slowly coming up, we are back in our locust. We're just gonna lift our bodies up, lift our hands, our legs off the earth. We are back in that locust pose. Gazing forward, three breaths. Hmm. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands forward, yes, we are back in that Superman, Supergirl. As we, maybe we can have some fun and act like we're flying, moving our bodies from left to right. As we find our pause, 
We're going to cross our hands in front of us, stacking our palms on top of each other, allowing our cheeks or our chin or our forehead to relax on our palms with our shoulder blades melted into the earth, our eyes or gaze down or closed. We are going to relax and soothe We go inwards for four natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we are slowly awakened from the sleeping pose, we're gonna come on up to our Sphinx pose, back on our forearms. Lifting our bodies up, slight back bend. Our shoulders are away from the ears. Gazing forward or with our eyes, gaze down or closed. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, bringing our hands towards our torso. We're going to push our bodies up to our baby cobra. Just slightly pushing our bodies up, elbows are slightly bent, baby cobra. As we breathe to our cobra, straightening out those elbows, we are in our cobra pose. Thighs are on the earth, elbows are straight. Exhale to up dog, on our up dog, our thighs are off the earth. Taking a moment to notice how the cobra, which is our thighs on the earth, looks very similar to that up dog with our thighs off the earth. In our up dog, our heart chakra is open and our chin is slightly up. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow to our knees, coming into a tabletop pose, knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Flowing back to our table. Crossing our feet and our ankles, coming into a seated pose just for a second. We're going to flow onto our backs just for a little bit longer. Bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. <sighs> Lifting our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. As we breathe our legs towards our torso, pulling that full body stretch. Exhaling back to legs on the wall. Bringing our knees into our chest. Allowing our feet to come flat on the earth with our knees in the air. <sighs> our back is melted into the earth, into the yoga mat. Breathe in. Exhale. As we are gazing up towards the heavens, using our feet with our palms flat on the earth next to our buttocks to push our buttocks off the earth here. Yes. We're working on our bridge pose. We are working on rounding and lifting our gluteus maximus here. So in our bridge pose, <sighs> still in that gluteus maximus burn. And if we choose, we can bring our hands underneath our buttocks, interlacing our hands together, and maybe walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord, noticing how your torso comes higher in the air, we just went a little deeper in our bridge here. And you may feel that gluteus maximus burn here. Yes. Now maybe we can do a couple of pulses. Pulsing the body down and pulsing that body up here. Yes. Feeling that burn. And in our bridge, just the way we are, come up on our tippy toes if we're able. Getting comfortable, positioning your feet, whatever you need to be, to be on your tippy toes. So now we are working our gluteus maximus and we are also working our flat foot by being on our tippy toes. And we can hang out here and stand still, or we can pulse it up and down on our tippy toes. Whatever you choose, seven natural breaths. Five more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Feeling that gluteus maximus burn here. Three more breaths. If we were pulsing, maybe we can stop our pulse and just lift that buttocks up nice and high. Yes, feeling that burn, lifting the buttocks up. We are rounding and lifting here. Holding it, feeling that burn. We are on our tippy toes. Two more breaths. Feeling a burn, you can do it. We're gonna do a bonus here, two more breaths. Going nice and tight here on that gluteus maximus. Burn, 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 we got this. Exhale down, we are flat on our feet. Uninterlacing our hands. Untucking those shoulders, bringing our knees to our chest, hugging our knees into our chest here. Backs are melting into the earth with our eyes gaze down and close. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Allowing our knees to fall towards the left. Recline, spinal twist, left side, right arm goes out to the side like a T as we gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. Breathe in. Exhale, recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Knees fall towards the right. Left arm goes out to the side like a T as we gaze over that left shoulder. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. Flowing into our happy baby, lifting our feet up in the air, bringing our hands between our thighs, connecting our hands to our feet. We are in our happy baby. With our hands connected to our feet, may we massage our feet here. Again, today's class was all about flat foot. We showed our feet a lot of love, a lot of attention today. So in our happy baby, may we wiggle our toes. May we do circular rotations with our ankles at our feet. And may we massage our feet. May we do all, may we do either. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Straightening out our legs, coming into a legs on a wall or invisible wall in our case. As we plantar flex our feet towards the heavens, feeling that plantar flex as we breathe to our dorsi. Exhaling back to our plantar flex. Flowing back to our dorsi. Bringing our knees into our chest, crossing our feet at our ankles. Feeling this tummy crunch as we come up to a seated position, maybe hanging out here in this boat pose for a second. Just for a second. Since we're coming up, let's work these abs and maybe we can bring our palms, our hands from side to side here. Yes, we're doing a little extra today, but hey, a little extra is always good. Tapping the body, working the obliques. Three more breaths. Just a little bonus here. Finding our pause. As we come into a seated pose, I'm going to come into a how face. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. If we're in our cow face, this gives us another opportunity to play around with our feet, squeezing and massaging our feet if we're in our cow face. And if we choose, we can wrap our bodies up, getting a little nippy here. <sighs> in our cow face or any easy seat that feels good for us, ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and long, meaning it's not sunken. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our shoulders are melted and relaxed downward away from our bodies. Our chin is relaxed. 
Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, maybe. As we breathe in deeply, hold the breath, exhale fully. Finding that our minds and bodies are completely relaxed and soothed. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.